Number three. Uh, now I messed up a little bit. I didn't type out all the information that I need on this, the first version of this worksheet. So uh, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. Um, identify the contact forces and the field forces. Yeah, that's actually supposed to be field forces shown in the photo of the balloon. So here I'm referring to photo of the balloon with uh, small pieces of paper on it. Uh, that is figure 1.3 on page 121 of your textbook. So uh, again, if you didn't know what I was talking about because, you know, I, 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 again, I messed up on this question, typing it out, go to your textbook, check out that balloon, see what you see, see if you can identify the contact and field forces at play. So contact forces. Well, the table is actually supporting the pieces of paper, right? Because not all the pieces of paper are actually on the balloon. And so the table is actually touching the paper, holding the paper up. There's also a person holding the balloon. And so there's going to be contact between the person's hand and the balloon. For forces, okay, we see that uh, gravity is actually uh, pulling down on the balloon and the paper at the same time. Okay, so we, we definitely know that those are at work. Um, also, the, the fun part of the picture is that electric force is pulling up on the pieces of paper, right? Getting, uh, getting the pieces of paper to actually uh, uh, accelerate up through the air and actually cling to, to the balloon. 